my wonderful viewers. I'm really excited about my guest tonight. Now, as you know, Cameras Rolling has been around for 14 years. I love to feature local talent. And the guy we have tonight is just unbelievably talented. So, we're going to start this show, and I'm going to say, action! It, now, wasn't that exciting? That was <laughs> unbelievable. That <laughs> scared the heck out of me. <laughs> and this, without further ado, is Ken Moore. Yes. From the Ken Moore Band. Woo! <laughs> Sit down in the cheap seat. So tell me, tell me how long have you been playing and how long has your band been around? Well, that's a good question. Uh, professionally, I guess since the mid 80s. Yeah, I was wow. like, I was three, I was year, three years old. I was three years old when I started. <laughs> I guess late 80s and I was started off as a solo artist. No, was it, was it around here? Where? No, I'm, I'm originally a Long Island boy. Oh, you are? Yes, I am. Born yeah. and bred in Rockville Center. Okay. And then bounced around the island, if you know the island at all and relocated in 2000 to Colebrook, Connecticut, mm -hmm. up this way. Right, it's beautiful somewhere. there. It's, oh, it's God's country. Yes. And that's the reason we went. We, we, we were having a baby, our first baby, and we just said, you know what? It's, uh, it's kind of close to Norman Rockwell territory. Yes. Let's, let's bring them up that way, you know? And it is kind of, the lifestyle there is just fantastic. It's the polar opposite from where we were. From and hustle and bustle. Yeah. You know, it's so funny because I I moved here from LA. It's the same thing. Yeah. I mean, it was so, it's so nice to come out here and it really, you are like trapped in a Norman Rockwell painting. You aren't are. You? you really yeah. are. Well, Stockbridge is pretty close and, you know, that's where he lived or that's where his museum right. is. And right. so yeah. there really is yeah. that, that genuine, or other people say Huck Finn, you know, right. we live right across from a little river and, well, do you, you know. Now, does your favorite type of music, does that fit in? With big, this? big time. Yeah. Big time. Um, uh, you know, I'm a big Dan Fogelberg, Gordon Lightfoot, <laughs> uh, you know, those those types of people that always sang about what they were surrounded by, you know, right. the beauty of what they were surrounded by. And Long Island is beautiful. I mean, it's uh, there's you, most of my song, a lot of my songs, you'll hear references to shores and ocean because I'm that, I'm a Long Island boy at heart. Right. But, you know, it's just the, 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 the hustle and the bustle got to the point where it was just I felt we felt more. More stressed, more yeah, airy. Yeah, and just much more, so much, whenever we Negative. went to the country, but when we went to the country, it, we, we never wanted to go back. Well, it's like you, it's like that, that cleansing exhale. You're like, oh, Yeah, you and the inhale breath. is the fresh air that we yes, get exactly. in the country, too. <laughs> right. So, yeah, it's, uh, it, but, but of course, New York City is one of my favorite places. So we still, you know, yes. our sons are very much in touch with, they were there yesterday, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. So they're very much... You know, yeah. still they have their metropolitan fixes and, you know, with Boston and New York. Which but is the great part about living here as absolutely. well. Absolutely. We're right in the middle of it all. Yeah. Okay, so you said Dan Fogelberg. Who, who else influenced you when you were growing up? Uh, Bob Dylan. Mm -hmm. took, took a little while. I have to admit that took a little while. His voice and, you know, I was, you know, when I was younger, that it took a little bit of an adjustment. And my, my older brother said, no, no, you must. Really? And he made me a cassette tape with Bob Dylan on one side and Neil Young on the other. Two of the more harsh voices, yeah, yeah. unique voices, I'll yeah. say. And boy, that tape changed and that, my life. It really? It changed my life, yeah. Now, is your, is your family musically inclined? Is that why your brother? I'm the youngest of seven. Yeah, I'm the youngest of seven. Catholic family. Uh, yeah, very, very Catholic. <laughs> Irish, Irish, Italian. Uh -huh. And um, my sister plays uh, the flute. Uh, my brother plays the mandolin. You know, there's a couple of us. It's but out of the seven, there's probably only maybe three or four that play music. But everybody right. loves music. Did you ever travel in that bus that had all the different colors? Oh no, that's uh, Partridge Family. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have uh, yeah, without I knowing it. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> Depends on your state of mind. Yes, I guess exactly, I have. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, okay. So, did your did your parents help influence you as well? Not really. Uh, well, I, my stepfather was into some of the great older crooners like Andy Williams and Tony mm -hmm. Bennett, and he would play that around the house a lot, and he loved music. So I guess in a sense he did, and he was always interested in the music that I was listening to, but it wasn't like he was a musician or my mom was a musician and said, hey, do this. Right. You know, it just kind of, I grew up listening to singer-songwriters. I was a baseball player. And I grew up listening to singer-songwriters. Those were my two absolute loves. Passions. Was, was throwing a baseball 
and, and that and singer and songwriters singer -songwriting. in particular. And uh, as I got older and older, you know, I started to develop. I just I had never didn't play an instrument until I was like about 18 years old. I played the piano a lot as a child around the house by ear. Right. Got my first guitar when I was 18, and it was yeah over and done. I mean, it, once you and and also uh, no joke. It was over. It's a, it, to this day. It's 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 it still feels new. Oh, that's you know? nice. Yeah. That's nice. So when you write songs, like, um, how old were you when you started to write lyrics? I wrote my first horrible song uh, <laughs> probably about six months after I learned how to play guitar. You know, you have to write some horrible things before you you, yes. know, you find your voice. And, you know, I'm still, you still search. You search for your voice for the, your entire life. But um, I was 18, about 19 probably, when I wrote my first little batch of songs. And... You know, it was, it, I found that really, uh, it, it just fit. It, you know, I was growing up reading the lyrics, always reading the lyrics whenever we'd get those great LPs. Remember oh, those, I love which that. Which are coming back, by the way. I was, and, yeah. you know, and it's funny, and I, I, would, I would learn a song so much quicker. And when, when it plays on the radio, because you already read all the lyrics oh, on, yeah. on the back of the albums. Yes. Yeah, and I was, Remember that. I was watching these men. Yes. Like, express what they were feeling on the inside and it was like wow right what a great thing to be able to do that's a great way to keep from going out of your mind yeah, exactly you know, expressing yourself so i as soon when i started writing songs as i joked that they weren't that great in the beginning uh the process for me was just it was addicting and it still is you know just releasing whatever's whatever you feel and you know just comes out and Right. The fact that you get to sing it to people and people, you know, people and enjoy yeah. it, and it makes well, it even better. It's wonderful. It's like that that moment of Zen when you when you really affect somebody, when when you really move somebody yeah. with with your creative artistry. I yeah. love that. Yeah. Speaking of which, I love this story about you starting when you were eighteen with the guitar. Because one of the things I like to talk about is that it's never too late to go for your creative dreams. So say somebody is watching this now and they're like, you know, I've, I've always wanted to try that, but they're retired age. It's never too late, is it? No, in fact, it's funny you should say that. I've had people write to me, in fact, a, a gentleman who was uh, in his early 70s wrote to me last year. He had come to see a couple of my shows, never came up and introduced himself, and then wrote me an email saying, I just feel like I'm nearing the end of my life, and this is something that I've wanted to do and I haven't done it, and it's a major regret, you know, would you mind listening to these songs? And would you, you know, I've written some of these songs, would you mind listening to these songs? And maybe someday you'll maybe even record oh, one of them. or that's whatever. So the, the point, it was, and, and, and it was great to, to hear this, this gentleman uh, send me his material, and some of it was really enjoyable, you know? And so, of course, I encouraged him. It would, you know, the end of what will you need? We're exactly, all, we're all exactly, near the end of yes, yeah. So, you know, do it. Right. Well, you know, because I, I always think a, a true creative artist is somebody who is trying to heal with, with arts, but at the same time, you're endlessly exposing what you need healing for That's so it's well it's said. like it's like a cycle but it's it's such an important thing to have in our lives yeah that's well said. Oh, thank you. Okay, so when you got your, your band together, how did that come about? Well, I was playing solo shows, uh, mostly cover material, you know, all, singing all my idol yes. songs, just le cutting my teeth. Right. And I was in a club in Long Island one night playing a solo show, and this, this guy came up to me, and he says, hey, do you want, can I, can I jam with you? I have a snare drum in the, in the, in the car. So I said, I guess. I mean, you're just going to play along? And he says, yeah. Well, he brought his little snare drum in, and I started the next set, and he just started playing along, and it just sounded so great to me. I had never played with anybody else before. God, that sounds so spontaneous. It just spontaneous sounded so and great cool. to me. Yeah. So this was a weekly gig that I would play at this place called Arthur's in Massapequa. And uh, two or three weeks later, he brought his friend who plays bass over, mm -hmm. you know. Suddenly now I've got a bass player and a drummer and I'm playing and going, boy, that sounds really good. And before I knew it, I, honestly, that was probably 19, I'm going to guess that was probably 91, 1991. And I haven't been a, I haven't really been a solo artist since. I've always been playing with people, at least two others or three others. Sometimes I've, I've even had four others, right. know, depending upon 
So, uh, so this is really a treat having you as a solo artist now. Yeah. It's like going back to basics. Yes, it Can't is. More. It is. In yeah. fact, I played a show in Lee yesterday, Lee, Massachusetts, um, just by myself. And, um, you know, the day before, I was out on Talcott Mountain with my band. And, yes. You know, kind of to this nice audience. And yesterday, it was a small little cafe in Lee, just doing it with me and my guitar. And I, I still love doing that. Yeah. You know? So it's it's all good. It's right. It's all really, really good. Right. Well, so tell me what, what the whole, what the process can be. Do you, do you ever do the, do you do the melody first or the lyrics first? Um, usually, for me, the melody comes first. I like them. To me, if you don't have a good melody or a strong melody, no matter what you're going to write, then you're, then you're not inspired. Is that it? I'm not personally, and I I fear that the people won't be if they, they won't go along for the ride with the words if that if it's not sitting on a on Any a movie. melody, right? A nice melody. So um, press go to navigate. <laughs> So I write the uh, <laughs> so I write the uh, melodies <laughs> melodies first. That, that's 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 bizarre. You got that. <laughs> my my lap is talking. Um, I was saying my Google Map turned on. I'm sorry. It's great though. It's spo it's spontaneous. I spontaneous. Love it. Here we go. There we go. So to make a long story <laughs> short, let's yes. I, I, <laughs> Sorry okay. to interrupt okay. your lap. Right. Sorry to interrupt my lap talking. Uh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, so so to me, picking up a guitar or sitting at the piano and coming up with something, and then all of a sudden a melody, you know, I'll hum a melody. That's when I quickly reach for the phone or the yeah. recording device, and then I'll see how it sounds. And then when I come back to it in a couple of days, if I listen to that melody and that that rhythm idea. And I find myself going like this or going like this, right. then it's like, okay, what does it make me feel? And usually words will follow pretty quickly. Sometimes it all happens at the same time. Those are the best ones. Yeah, I bet. When it all just, you literally just sit there and the song writes lyr lyrics and melody at the same time. But that's rare. Right. Okay, let me, let me ask you some advice. Okay. Now, I've, I've told you I love acting. I love that part of the creative artistry. Sure. I can write some poems. I always want to try a musical instrument, but I'm I'm a little bit hesitant and a little bit embarrassed. That I've never really been musically inclined. Okay. Is it too late for me? No. It's not. Okay, good. No, no, no. Even no. even guitar. No, I really? no, uh, no. Guitars can be. Uh, I used to work with a guitarist. Uh, my lead guitar player called the guitar a medieval torture instrument. <laughs> really? Because yeah. it just you know to to first get the positions down and you know it it's it can be a little difficult in the beginning. I think piano is the greatest. Oh, thing I would love you could, to. I, 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 I do this thing where I go in and uh, to schools and talk to kids about expressing themselves and you know writing and expressing themselves. Oh, that's themselves. wonderful. And I tell them that even a cat walking across a piano makes a little melody. I mean, right. really, anybody just doing anything on a piano can sound so nice. So that would be my recommendation. Okay, just get a so little just keyboard, kind of, a little and portable just, keyboard, and start there. And well, and also with with YouTube now, there there's tutorials everywhere, right? Lot, so I don't have lot. to be embarrassed because no, a no, lot no. of times I'm just too embarrassed because they'll like expect some young person, and I'm like, well, no, I wouldn't mind trying. No, okay. No, 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 no. All right. So speaking of good music, good things, you are going to be playing for us. Yes, I'm very I excited. Will be. Yes. So um, you're going to play a few songs. Before you start to play, just tell us the name of the song, sure. any inspiration, what helped you write it, okay. and how long you've had it. All right. All right. Well, so I'm really excited to hear you play. Well, thank you. All right. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, we're, we're, we're oh, doing yes. that right oh, now. Oh, wait, wait. Actually. No, um, let's give your website address, though. The website is Ken Moore. Spell it, please. K-E-N-N. -N -N. N -N, double N. M-O-R-R. -R. Double R. Dot com. Ken Moore, double N double R dot com. Dot com. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, and we have a new new CD coming out. Um, I think it's being released September fifteenth or so. Looks like that. Looks like that. And um, this is the first song on that CD, oh, actually. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right, can't wait, wait to hear it. Well, this one was inspired by a trip to uh, the Grand Canyon where I found myself in a bus um, with my oldest son on the way there from Vegas and with my youngest one on the way back in the dark. And uh, an intense day. This is, this is called Out of the Fast Lane. <laughs> Walk 
walking round the canyon's rim. Feel my breath about to blow. High as condors fly, 18 miles wide. Snake River winding down below. And drive through that desert valley. Open space, eternity. Everything's so right. The full moon comes tonight. I feel faith return to me. I feel faith return to me. I'm taking the time out of your mind. Out in a world where everything shines Taking it in, taking it slow Out of the fast lane and let it go Well son you know it makes me shiver We're moving at the speed of sound Tiny shadows gone, and time keeps pressing on. There's no way to slow it down. And not long ago, you know, I saw old Joe. He's still the same old Joe to me. He still hasn't gripped how he saved the ship. From being swallowed by the sea Taking the time Out of your mind Out in a world Where everything shines Taking it in and Taking it slow Out of the fast lane Let it go Out of the fast lane, let it go. Walking round the canyon's rim Smell the sweet natural perfume Puff clouds in blue skies Above the canyon's rise White and gold cliff rose in blue White and gold cliff rose in blue Out of your mind, out in a world everything shines. I'm taking it in, taking it slow. Out of the fast lane, let it go. Out of the fast lane, let it go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. What a studio audience we have here. And here's the title cut to uh, the new CD. Uh, the CD is called Along the Way. And uh, I guess this one's just packed with images of, um, of, I guess, thoughts I've collected along the way. Along the way. 
We may stumble along the way While out reaching for today Along the way, along the way There's always something lost along the way Hey, we may fade But may we never lose our way As long as we keep saying, hey, it's okay Hey, it's okay, hey, it's okay Nothing really matters anyway Cause every time I shut the evening light and every time I hear the geese in flight And every time blue skies turn gray Something gets lost along the way Something here We just may have something here By now it seems crystal clear That you and me, hey, we have something here But lately I have lost the way I can't let go of yesterday Cause there's something about a photograph There's something about the way you laugh but Lately I don't feel a thing I've got a bell, can't make it ring I've got a bird, but she won't sing I want it all but I'll take half pass it on there's just no need to carry on nothing should lead you on lead you on lead you on no by then you should be gone oh by then should be gone Where does time go? Finer minds they'll never know It's like a sudden gale that comes to blow Take you places you don't know The way the time will go Oh, and away, the way we go Along the way, along the way There's always something lost along the way Along the way Along the way Is something lost along the way Can't let go of yesterday There's something about a photograph There's something about the way you laugh Lately I don't feel a thing I've got a bell, can't make it ring I've got a bird, but she won't sing I want it all, but I'll take half studio audience.
That was really beautiful. Thank you. I got, I'm going to try not to cry. I got um, the second song about time. Yes. It really resonated with me and it was just, it really moved well, me. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And your voice, it's, it's got a, almost a haunting edge to it, but it's a very rich voice. So I loved it. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. It's okay, a pleasure. So, so if people want to come see your band play, they can look you up online, right? KenMoore.com. And that's it. And you, you do all sorts of things, right? You play at venues. Do you ever do We like, do anything stuff from or? outdoor, large outdoor concerts in the summer to small uh, museums or art centers or coffee houses right. or libraries. We do a lot of libraries oh, nice. throughout. We're actually throughout five different states. We travel, you know, around, who, you know, who, where they'll have us is where we go. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Down. It's I'm been a pleasure. for Clemps. Okay. All right, and what's uh, what's the name of your this last is, song? This is this is an older one. That's uh, it's this will take you out of that little funk. This okay. is called "In the Name of Rock and Roll." All right. <laughs> Town. He put his thumb on the road, the west coast bound. For the land of milk and honey, where fallen stars cruise the boulevard and the fancy cars. Oh, the deeper you go, you need another head to soothe your soul. Oh, it takes its toll, you do it in the name of rock and roll. Down today, you need to get it up tonight. You have to keep them dancing till the morning light with shots of gold and those funny cigarettes that take you even higher than it gets. Oh, the deeper you go, you need another hit to soothe your soul. Oh, it takes its toll. You do it in the name of rock and roll. I did last night in that cheap motel. Mystery woman dressed in black, you'll need a hundred wild horses to hold me back. Oh, the deeper you go, you need another hit just to soothe your soul. Oh, it takes its toll, you do it in the name of rock and roll. Is now I didn't really need to sleep anyhow. Strong black coffee and a morning cigarette and a road guitar. Is a